My shirt says caffeine machine, and I thought it would be fitting to crush a triple espresso over ice while I watch this video. And no, I'm not like those other YouTubers where drinking coffee is part of my personality trait. Uh, can I get four shots of vanilla, five pumps of caramel with extra oat milk swirl on the bottom? No, this is black, okay? I drink coffee to get through, to exist. <laughs> What am I on, man? Today we're gonna watch Contestant Sent to the Emergency Room. Sorry, it's in all caps. CONTESTANT SENT TO THE EMERGENCY ROOM! It's episode 9, season 3 of The Reality House, okay? The Reality House season, the best reality television show here on YouTube, is coming to an abrupt close. It's been a great time so far. We've covered episodes 1 through 8, and after this, it's the finale. All I'm saying is, once it's gone, it's gone. I can't go back and make more Reality House episodes. You gotta wait for next year. So cherish it. Enjoy it. This program contains adult language and situations. Viewer discretion is advised. You guys want to see the difference between me and these other reaction channels? You see, I could say, yeah! doesn't quite do it. Anyone can do that. I have a secret weapon and his name is Patty. Patty, hit him with the reality house. Hit him, Patty! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Last episode, Kane was trash talking all game and he wound up winning. Then everybody jumped in the pool, butt ass naked, cocks were flopping out, boobs were in the air. If you didn't watch last episode, you might want to go and see that. Welcome to the last day of Reality House. Last day? Fuck! Oh, no! Good morning, Haley. Good morning to you too, Zach. It's Phil of the future, and I just gotta tell you guys that these mattresses are not comfortable. I just know it. That's why today's video is sponsored by Helix Sleep. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding customized to fit your needs, conveniently shipped in a box right to your doorstep. Everybody's different, and Helix knows that. That's why they designed a sleep quiz that helps match your unique sleeping positions to your body type so that they can find the perfect mattress for you. Based on how firm or soft you like your mattress and your unique sleeping positions, Helix has a mattress for everybody. If you sleep with a partner or even a pet, you can take the quiz together and find the perfect compromise for the both of you. Based on my results, they matched me with the Midnight Lux because I like to sleep on my side, sometimes stomach and I like a nice medium mattress feel not too soft not too hard as you guys know I moved which means I'm also upgrading I've been sleeping on my midnight Lux queen size mattress for the past 10 months but I decided I need a mattress fit for a king and it should be here any day now and I can't wait if it makes you guys nervous to buy something that you haven't tried yet helix offers a 100 night sleep trial for whatever reason if you don't fall in love with your new bed they will come and pick it up no questions asked and you guys will get a full refund. Plus, Helix mattresses come with a 10-year warranty. They offer flexible payment plans and even have financing options. So a great night's sleep is never that far away. I love my Helix, and I think you guys would too. If you're in the need for a new bed, check out Helix. Visit helixsleep.com slash filion, or just click on the link down below to get up to $200 off your new mattress, plus two free pillows. Massive thank you to Helix for sponsoring this video. You cheeky bastards! What did you get up to last night, huh? I bet Zach got his tokens funged last night. <laughs> Last night. <laughs> How are you gonna put contestants on blast like that? They have something called the private room. It's private. So, how'd you fuck last night, huh? What'd you get up to, huh? It's a little uncomfortable. What'd you do, grapefruit this man? So what you're gonna do is just suck his dick. That's like you <laughs> so I don't know if we can show this on <laughs> I didn't sleep. Uh, <laughs> it was a great night. Uh, shout out, Zach. <laughs> there was um, lots of physical touch and pizza involved. So if you had to rate him on one to 10. 
Oh my god, he was. I was gonna give him a one from uh, my visual, but 10. <laughs> What? What does that even mean? From the visual, he's a one? I told you I was gonna get the private room. I told you I was gonna deliver and do the damn thing. Uh, me and Haley were vibing out heavily, especially after the dunk tank. After that, I think we just fell in love. Like we locked eyes and then from there I knew I was going down. Um, we definitely used the private room very well. And then when I walked out of the room, everyone's like, well, you're glowing this morning. Walked out with the biggest smile. I slipped and I fell and I hurt myself, as you can see right here. They want everyone to know what they're up to. So they leave these giant welts. Somebody shot them with a paintball gun. How am I supposed to take you guys seriously when you're going around leaving hickeys on everyone's neck? I thought we were past that stage. No? You want me to be like, wow, you must really be good at clapping cheeks, am I right? Hold on, hold on. Okay, no, you're going to make fun of me for getting a hickey. And then you're going to come out of a private room with hickeys on your neck? No, 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 no. Funny how the tables turn. It looks like Haley and Zach decided to join Christian and I on the little uh, hickey club that we're in. So I wake up and I see Zach and Haley got um vampire bites all over their neck and uh, <laughs> not gonna lie, but I thought that was some high school shit, but do your thing, do your thing. That's what I'm saying, Kane. Bro, Kane, me and you, dude. That's what I'm saying. Welcome, welcome, welcome to season three finale. The last day, I'm kind of sad, feeling kind of emotional and scared and anxious. I know there are a lot of really, really tough competitors here. Um, Who? Who's a tough competitor? I'll show you tough competition. Put me in, coach. This is y'all's last Thank challenge. So it's the final day. Um, we're about to go into the last challenge and I'm gonna do my absolute best. I came here to win and I'm gonna try my absolute hardest. I'm walking out and I see these two huge inflatables. I see a big ass pelota and a maze and I'm already kind of freaked out. One, because I already knew it was gonna be super hot in there. Two, I'm kind of scared of mazes. So I was like, oh my God, I just have to be a maze. It's the last challenge. Challenge? This looks like the best birthday party I've ever seen in my life. I don't know about you guys, but I was the king of these inflatables as a kid. I still am the king. And I want to do well. I'm nervous, but I'm going to translate that energy into focus. I will win this. I, I think I'm meant to go home with this money and I'm going to make it happen. I'm still confused. Isn't everybody going home with money unless you lose like a big challenge and they steal your money? Everyone's winning. Who's the clear winner? That's my question. Is it just whoever has the most money at the end? Am I dumb? This is what decides who's gonna win the money, the literal final challenge. I feel like after every challenge, it's just like, you win another 30 grand. All right, let's talk about the elephant in the room. We are one short right now. Uh, Kane unfortunately had to go to the emergency room slash urgent care. Hold up, what happened to my boy Kane? He was bit by a spider. It's radioactive or something. We don't know if he's if he's Spider-Man or if he's fixed yet, but he had a severe allergic reaction. Did Gary bite him in the last episode? So I wake up this morning, right? And I'm hopping on a little phone call with my manager and- How does Kane have a manager? He steals content for a living. Does he manage his ability to steal content and just pumps him clips? Kane, this is what you're gonna do on TikTok this week, all right? You cool with that? All right, sounds good. Get the fuck out of here, Kane has a manager. Um, I look down and I see a goddamn spider the size of my fucking hand bro i kid you not and bro i just, I, I kicked that shit off running back inside didn't think too much of it you know i was gonna tell people it, but i was just trying to see like what's gonna happen so 10 or 15 minutes goes by after this bite and um shit was not cool at all my face was red like spots all over me and um oh, holy smokes um, i show kian and jason my um rashes in my fucking face and uh they say they they need to send me to the ER. And yeah, man, at this point, I am freaking the f out. He had a severe allergic reaction, uh, but he'll show up here and and uh, he's still competing for, for the grand prize. Cool, yeah. Yes, yeah. Kane. All right, speaking of grand prize, for this last challenge, thanks to Current, we are giving away $50,000. 50 grand to run through inflatable tubes. All right, the way that we're dividing up the 50 grand, okay? First place will win $35,000. Second place will win $10,000. And third place will win $5,000, okay? But the person in first place will also win whatever they have in their bank account. 
That's so much for me. Christian, sorry God to say damn. you are not All doing that? so well. So you're probably wondering, how the hell is this finale gonna work? We're here to explain that to you. Behind us, you see two inflatable courses. This will be a maze. And this will be a different form of a maze, but you will be in a Zorb ball to complete it. I would call that one a little race. That's a race, yeah. <laughs> it's a race with yourself, all right? Each course, uh, you will be timed, okay? We'll take those times, add them together, all right? And that will be your total time for the entire finale. It's important to clarify that today you are not working as a team, you are working solo. Forget the friendships, forget the relationships, Christian Camilla. I feel like that's better. I can't be relying on slow pokes on my team. No shot, lone wolf till I die. You're working today as a solo to win the grand prize. All right, for the Zorb race, uh, you will be put into a ball. You will start at the start line. He will say go, you will race around the track twice you must pass the finish line in order for your time to be stopped okay there is obstacles that you have to go through i would just falcon punch that zor ball into oblivion with the amount of torque in my wrist snap it would cause a centrifugal force and it would just complete the challenge itself the maze i'm running through the walls like the kool-aid man nobody's stopping me six four two fifteen solid baby oh yeah now on the other side we have a maze it is very tricky uh, and it will take you some time. To make it a little bit harder for you guys, we have eight letters in the inside of the maze. Those eight letters are all scrambled. You have the objective to collect all eight, get out of the maze and unscramble a word. Once you have done the maze and completed and unscrambled that word, that's when your time stops and you're done with that part. How do you know if you unscrambled the right word? Like, is it there's only there's, a, there's only one there's only word. one word to spell. Oh. Now that makes it a little bit more fun. Man, I gotta give it to them. These challenges got pretty creative. But at the same time, if I had the 900K sponsor budget of Reality House, bro, my challenges, good luck. It's probably more. <laughs> my only question is, are you f***ing ready? Let's go! Yeah. Okay. All right, some energy. <laughs> Guys, it's very important you win today because this is the finale, so whoever wins this takes home the money, all right? We have a first, we have a second, and we have a third. Second and third place are only taking home the 10 and five grand. First place is taking home 35 grand plus your account, okay? Fourth through 10th, you, you guys go home nothing. with nothing. All right, so it's very important to get top three today. Pause the video right now and let me know who you think's gonna win the challenge. I'm saying Louie, Louie till I die, baby. That's it, are you guys ready? Yeah! Who wants to go first? All righty. Okay, so JC and I are gonna walk through the 10 person, the nine person crowd right now and pick one of you at random for each one and we're gonna start immediately. The rest of you guys go back in the house and until we call your name, that's how it's gonna be, playboy. All right, here we go. Who'd you pick? I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go ahead and pick uh, Louis. You're first for the Zorb. M, you're first for the Maze. All right, let's do this thing, All right, guys. The rest of you guys go in the house, enjoy the AC, talk amongst yourself. Let's That's get this it. shit, baby. It's finale day. Believe in you guys. Good luck. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Tried to take it. Eight letters. Eight letters. Nervous, but I Let's have to go, Louis. Show them what you got. Louis and E up first. I couldn't think of two better competitors to start off the last day. If I was Wraith, open up a portal, throw Louis through. See ya, Nether Realm. Peace out. One of my competitors is gone. I couldn't think of two. Here's the issue. I got like a third grade reading level, so I'm not sure what the word. Like, I might not be able to figure it out. Girl, we got this. We have to be first, second, or third. No, There's no way we're not leaving without nothing. One of us is taking it. I believe in us. I'm convinced. Well, me too. We got this. I'm trying to mentally prepare myself for this first challenge. Luckily, I have been into like one of those little pelota things before. So I'm like, okay, I'm trying to figure out how I did it back then. I'm just trying to keep myself calm. I already know it's gonna be so hot in there. So I'm trying to like figure out what I'm gonna do to get first place. You're not gonna start as soon as I step in, no? no, no. Louis, good luck. Ugh, okay, so hot in here. You got it. What you could also do is bang, kick your legs to the bottom. Oops, sorry, broke it. And then Fred Flintstone your way across the finish line. Oh my God, I'm so nervous right now. All right, Em, you ready for the finale? Okay. So this maze, I already know is not gonna be easy. They said they've put little letters around. I know it's not gonna be, be that easy though. I know they're gonna be all over. Well, this is it. The season finale, 
officially starts now. The only thing that would make this challenge better is if they put a nude, oiled up Fousey tube in the middle of the maze and he would be the Minotaur. You don't want to come across him in the maze. Starts. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> this is so heavy. What if one of the contestants just has an anxiety attack in that Zorb ball, just passes out? I'm literally having the hardest time ever. I thought this was gonna be so much easier. From the looks of it, nothing about this challenge is easy. Come on, bitch. You gotta be running at least a light jog in this maze. Can't be sauntering around. Oh, I found a letter. No. Good job, E. You found all the letters. Now let's see if you can figure out that word. So I'm running through this maze. I feel like I'm going really fast through the maze. I found all eight really fast. I guess our definitions of fast are a little different. I'm sweating, my legs hurt, I'm out of breath. The ball is a lot heavier than it looks. This cardio better have helped. <sighs> now that Louise finished up the Zorb race, let's check up on E and see how she's doing. I'm moving all these letters around. First of all, I don't even know if the H is an I or the N is a Z or what, and I'm moving all these letters around. I laid them all out and I just, I panicked. Man, all of these influencers choke right when they need to perform. It's the plight of the reality house. That's what it is. There's too, way too much on the line here. Handouts. Handouts? Uh, no? Oh, I'm fing up hard. I can't figure it out. I'm, I. My hands are shaking. I needed to take a step back and just breathe, but I just couldn't pull it together. All right, I'm not as nervous as I was earlier because I thought I was gonna be required to be smart. Not very smart, but this looks athletic, so I think I got this. Right. Can y'all turn the sun down a little though? I know, I will. It's hot. It's already hot as outside, so being inside of that did not help at all. Okay, just hop in here. This man never takes his Rolex off. I feel like for optimum athletic capabilities, you just gotta strip down. Yo, I'm killing this shit right now, you know what I'm saying? And I told you I was going to, you already know. You know what? I think I prefer the way that Kane talks over Gymshark Boy. He has zero swag or cred. <laughs> like... Come on, baby, let's go. I gotta get my mama a house. Let's go. Oh, all right, all right, let's go. It's okay, Zach, everyone falls. Now get back up so you can win that house for your mumsy. And this is like 100% our word I would know. Oh, <laughs> Bro. All the contestants are gonna be done and E's still gonna be stuck on this word. Am I done? <sighs> Holy shit, it is hot. I feel like I'm coming out of my mom's womb right now. Coming out the womb. Whew. Okay. That was cool. Get off me, motherfucker. I don't think I have asthma, but I think I just got asthma from that. God damn. I think I did really well, actually. Like, I was in that bitch like a hamster, so I'm not worried about that at all. Yeah, my heart is like thumping right now, dude. How was it? I felt like I was inside of a condom, just suffocating. 
Let's fucking go, baby. <laughs> he just walks home. <laughs> Doesn't even stay for the reality house. Just, yep, gone into the sunset. Now that would be a power move. Time is up! Does she automatically lose the challenge? Is she crying? What? Is she crying? I feel bad now. <laughs> Thanks. It's a little bit crazy. You're so Aww, e. Don't be so hard on yourself. You're a great competitor and there's still a lot of game left. Doesn't seem like it. <laughs> Oh no! All our history's hazy. Oh, here comes E. I don't like that. I need to see her reaction of her face. Oh, I feel like I'm watching a Sarah McLaughlin commercial about dogs. <laughs> the reality house come on <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry as soon as thomas came up and said emily your time is done i was shook i had no idea so i was absolutely devastated and just immediately started crying you okay now that we've seen how difficult this challenge can be let's see how mariah fares all right you ready yeah I'm f***ing stoked because I'm finally getting the opportunity to show out as an individual and I think I'm just gonna kill it. Bro, she's flying around that Zorb. <laughs> she's gonna take flight. Oof, Mariah may be small, but boy, is she mighty. <laughs> She's just tumbling inside this thing. All I did was just start throwing my body. I'm freaking out. It's so hot. I feel like I want to throw up everywhere, but I just know I have one job, and that's to finish this f***ing race. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That was so hard. The heat was getting to me, but I feel like I did good. Just throwing my f***ing body everywhere. Whew. I finished. I feel pretty good about it because I have nothing else to go off of, which was kind of good for the nerves, but I feel like I killed it. With the challenge in full swing, let's check back in on Spider-Can. Imagine the redemption arc. Kane, fresh from the emergency room, hopped up on epinephrine, comes in, gets the fastest times, and wins. That would be wild. Better steal the show again, boys. Let's do it. I didn't miss this heat. I'm good. I'm good. So less red. So the doctor said I was clear, ready to go. And um, like I said, I'm not no bitch. Spider, f off. And um, yeah, we back, bitches. Let's get this show on the road. I respect that. Say what you want about Kane, but this man is still competing. He's got the spirit. He's got the warrior spirit. <laughs> Except against Blueface. See, some of these shots not quite connected. In three, two, one. Come on, Christian. You can do this. You've been waiting for this redemption. I'm zooming through this. Go left, go left, go left. I'm finding words, I'm finding words. This is gonna be easy. It's simple. I have this. Christian is like a mouse looking for that cheese right now. He's getting letters on letters, baby. Let's see if he can complete the word. Apparently, it's like the hardest thing in the world. It's a puzzle. It's a mental game. It's a word game. Listen, I'm an English major. This is going to be simple. 
No. Simple, hmm, Christian? Sound, sound hat? That is incorrect. Great. I'm trying to piece together some words here, but it's pretty tough. It's not easy, and I'm kind of struggling right now. Great. Great. Yep. Thousand. Thousand. Thank you. Thank you. Words, bitch! Come on! That was good. This man kept his cool, made one mistake on the word, and said, you know what? We adapt, we overcome, we evolve. It's thousand. Bingo! F yeah, thousand. We got the word. Easy, simple. I mean, took some time, but I feel like it's still pretty fast. I was zooming through that maze, and I got the word. Oh, oh, oh. Just speed through this, this ball. There's no way anyone's getting faster than you. You got this, bro. There's nothing wrong with a little self-motivation, bro. I see this hamster ball and I think I got this in the bag. The maze over here is worrying me a little bit, but this hamster ball is gonna come straight down to athletic ability and I think I got it in the bag. Let's go. Just got back from the ER, no biggie, no biggie, but uh, slight work, like I said. This shit's slight work. <laughs> Let's go. So um, I'm about to do this maze. I'm ready, I'm excited. It's gonna be interesting because um, it's the most important challenge of the week. Three, two, one. Picture this, Kane, he's bobbing and weaving through the maze. Bangs a left, he sees Gary. Then he has Vietnam flashbacks of arachnophobia. Kid goes straight back to the hospital. My goodness, Peter, you're really zooming in that thing. Peter's playing real life super monkey ball. Man is zooming through this course. Right off the bat, I feel at home in this ball. I'm even starting to turn a little bit quick around this corner. And I'm thinking there is no way anybody else who's doing this is good. I have to be in first for at least this challenge right now. Kane, let's see if those spidey senses will help you figure out the word. What if you get all the letters and the order that you put them down in just spells out thousand? <laughs> so I did the maze just like that, found all the letters, and um, I'm at the table trying to figure out this word, and I kid you not, I am having a migraine <laughs> trying to figure this damn thing out. It f***ing sucks. Oh my God, my tongue is so dry. Ha. That's a joke. Oh, that's not a word. Ah, come on, bro. Damn. Dash, dash, dash. Dushitin? No, no. <laughs> Dushitin. <laughs> no, that's not a word. Dushitin? What country is that in? Bro, what in the f is this word, dog? There is actually no thos, thosend, thon, sendu. It's right in front of your face. You're almost there. The sendu. <sighs> no one's getting this. Yeah, that's it. Again with the maximum time. Uh-oh, we're about to have a breakdown. <laughs> Brace yourselves. That's some bullshit. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, I did not even figure out the word. My time ran out, but... um. Just starts crying way more than E. <laughs> I, I swear to God, nobody's going to figure this shit out. Thousand. Thon Sendu. Words, bitch. <laughs> Got it. All right. <sighs> yeah. I feel like Haley's gonna annihilate this challenge. You remember when she just blurted out the word in the dunk tank? She's just gonna be like, a thousand. I've been doing so good so far and I'm literally going to kill this challenge. I've always wanted to go inside one of those hamster ball things and I'm gonna kill it. Okay. 
I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I am not confident in this one. Not because of the maze, just putting these words together, I'm telling you guys, I'm pretty not smart. I already know this is gonna be so freaking complicated and it's eight letters. So I'm like, ooh, no, yeah, me chingue. I'm terrified right now. What is this technique? <laughs> the bunny hop push. Look at that. That's quite the technique you've got there, Haley. Finishing this race. Focus, Louis. Relax, and just know you can do this. Uh, I'm so bad at words and spelling. Oh my god, I'm gonna freak out. I'm trying to stay positive, trying to hype myself up. I'm like reminding myself, like, you got this, you got this, you got this, but this is so annoying. I'm literally freaking out, like, really bad. Bro, Haley is stuck in the cyclone. Oh my lord. This is not good. It's not looking good. She's wasting way too much energy doing a full frog leap every single time to propel this thing forward. You gotta get on some bear crawl action. I am inside of this hamster ball thing right now. Um, my heart's going like this and suddenly I'm nervous and I'm freaking out and I'm panicking. I, I, I can't breathe. It's hot. I cannot find the hole I'm supposed to get out of and I'm try I need I need out. Oh my lord, I was right! Oh. Bro, is Haley gonna respawn or not? I need to know. Next time on Reality House, the season finale. There's gonna be a couple rules that we're gonna go over once we get there. We're gonna be pulling you one by one. You will have one minute to grab as much money as possible. First place is the only one walking away. Oh, this looks sick. They're getting all dressed up for the finale. You love to see it. With 35,000 plus their bank account. And the winner of Reality House season three is. Imagine we come this far. I make nine videos on the reality house and I blue ball you guys. I don't cover the finale. What am I evil? Of course, we're going to cover it <laughs> next time on Philly on watches the reality house. Ah!